I decided to be a nurse and started working at a hospital. I believe it was the best decision in my life. In training, I met Julie, who became my lifelong partner. But I always wanted to leave London. I would dream about it. It was because I had problems at my work and I always wanted to find a way to be with Julie. In Britain, about 20 years ago, people thought you could catch HIV from toilet seats. In the mid-1980s, the media was freaking out about AIDS because there was no known cure. As the BBC said recently, victims were often viewed as falling into groups. Hemophiliacs were often labeled innocent victims, but gay men and women were put in the authors of their own misfortune group with drug users. The media was calling AIDS G-R-I-D-S, GRIDS. GRIDS being gay-related immune deficiency syndrome. People were afraid that gay plumbers might infect a cistern, afraid that you could catch HIV from sharing communal baths. At this time, an estimated 7,500 people had been diagnosed with HIV in Britain. There were an unknown number of people who had the disease but did not know. The government formed the AIDS Awareness Agency, TBWA. TBWA sent around AIDS info leaflets to every household in the country. The whole idea of GRIDS, gay-related immune deficiency syndrome, was crap. But it mobilized the gay movement. We were listening to this and we realized we were slowly being shut out of society by this talk of AIDS being a disease. They are trying to quarantine us not just socially or culturally anymore, but physically. My partner was diagnosed with AIDS in 1984. We had already been through losing some of our closest friends to AIDS. And because it was a gay disease, there was no affordable cure. She died in June of 1985. They're talking about vaccines for AIDS. Now that everyone knows AIDS is not the gay disease. Here's my question, think about it. The world hadn't reacted as though AIDS was only a gay disease. Maybe we'd be closer to saving the 40 million in the world with HIV. And maybe the love of my life would still be alive. Maybe we would have gotten married in 2004. Maybe we would have said marriage is a government imposed institution. But it would have been our choice if she was still alive. 